Creative critical thinking activities can make all the difference in student learning, but we know finding the time to design meaningful and memorable lessons isn't always easy. That's where Magic Activities comes in. My name's Ellie and I'm a product educator here at Canva and a former teacher. In this lesson, we'll learn how to use Magic Activities to build rich, higher order learning tasks in seconds. It's a win-win situation. No more surface level tasks for students and no need to put in extra hours of prep on your end. Let's jump in. Magic Activities is Canva's AI-powered activity generator. It turns any learning objective into a visual, engaging, and collaborative task, fast. You might be wondering how effective is it really? Well, let me show you. Oh, and the best part? You don't have to start from scratch, ever. From the Canva homepage, go to Classwork, then select Magic Activities. You'll land on the prompt screen where you can choose a grade, subject, and learning goal, or pick from these ready-made examples. Let's choose this one. It selects the grade, subject, and skill for the activity. If the pre-filled options don't suit, we'll need to craft our own customized prompt. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Writing great prompts doesn't have to be a guessing game. Our team has spent hours and hours testing and fine tuning prompts, so we know how to get the best results every time. Here's how you do it. In the prompting box, follow this formula, learning verb and specific topic. Let's try it out together. In the prompt box, I'll enter, students will be able to compare and contrast the characteristics of two different ecosystems. Next, we'll add more context and detail. Select sixth grade biology, and the skill you want students to understand. Then tap generate activities. You'll see that Magic Activities has taken your prompt and added even more detail to make it classroom ready. As you can see here, a few different activity options pop up. For this prompt, we've got three activities. The types of activities will shift depending on the skill you're targeting. Let's choose all of them. Each one comes with a visual layout, customizable elements, and space for students to explore ideas in creative, meaningful ways. See how easy that was? Honestly, it might be one of my favorite time-saving hacks ever. And we're not done yet. Magic activities currently come in two formats, whiteboards and docs. Let's explore what each one can do. We'll start with the whiteboard activity. In this layout, you'll see two student-facing activities. One focuses on applying knowledge, while the other gives students a creative challenge where they're designing, building, or imagining something new. Now, let's take a quick look at the doc version, which was generated from the same prompt. The doc format is your go-to for tasks like comprehension, essay planning, summarizing, or even close reading. It works well when you need a bit more structure. You know your students better than anyone. And let's be honest, one size fits all doesn't apply to real life classrooms. Magic activities are flexible. You can simplify, translate, or adapt the task for any learner in a few clicks. Come on, let me show you how easy it is to tweak and share. You can customize any section of text in a magic activity to better meet your students' needs. In this example, we'll use the transform text tool. First, select a paragraph, then add your prompt and let Canva handle the rest. Now, let's make this activity more accessible for multilingual learners. Select the text again, tap transform text and choose translate and select any language. Just like that, the text is translated. Isn't that great? 
Now that we've seen how to differentiate, we can reset this to the original activity. Oh, and one last thing. Magic activities often include a short teacher tip inside the design. Be sure to read it before assigning and remove it once you're ready to share with students. It's also worth pointing out that we always recommend having a native speaker double check any translations, just to be 100% sure. All right, we're ready to roll. Now, let me show you how to assign your activity, ensure every student gets an editable copy while keeping everything organized. Once your magic activity is open, head to the sidebar. You'll see a list of all the activities generated from your prompt. Each activity is marked as solo work, which means every student will get their own editable version. Now it's time to assign it. Tap assign like this. If your school uses a learning platform like Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams, you can choose that option here. Or you can share the activity with your class directly in Canva. In the message box, you can include instructions here. Then tap assign to send it off. If you'd rather share via link, just choose Share via link from the same menu and add that to your school's LMS. Or, if your school's LMS is already integrated, you'll find those options under See All. We'll cover LMS sharing in more detail in the course resources, but for now, know that each assigned activity is automatically saved to your projects folder. You can check student progress anytime by heading to the Classwork tab and tapping Assignments. Here, you'll see which students have started the activity. You can tap on their designs to view their work. It's easy to assign, simple to track, and everything stays organised. We've covered how to generate, customise and assign magic activities. Now it's your turn. Inside the Learn and Play activity, you'll find prompt templates, examples, and time-saving tips to help you get started. So go on, take five minutes between classes, click around and see what you can make. You might just find your new favorite time saver.